When I really want to be with a partner, I hang out with the dudes. They, Fuck you! They complete me. But a wife is meant to be pleasant. With no attitude. Who's pleasant now? Sebastian! Wow, he's been great movie. This dude is such a dork ass loser. You're a guy in your 20s and I, I you just saw this clip and I was like this f I don't even remember how how did we find this clip? Uh I'm not sure. I think you sent it in the chat if I remember. I think it was correctly. on my my for you. Page. Yeah. And loser. I was like get a load of this fucking guy. This is crazy, dude. This is what all these sigma grind set people are on. Hmm. Oh, I wish Dan was here cuz he had a lot of funny insight, but I I remember kind of what he was talking about here. If you're a guy in your 20s and you don't have a Lamborghini, you should actually sit down and have like a serious discussion with yourself as to why you don't have a Lambo. Yep. Because why? it's, I realize now that it's so incredibly easy and there's so much money out there and 200 grand relative to what is out there in circulation and what you can grab, especially now with AI tools that you can leverage like never before, 200 grand is Trump change. If you're a guy- why? Dude, there's like trillions of dollars in circulation. All you gotta do is reach out your hand and grab it. Oh my god. Yeah, so he was mentioning AI tools and Dan yeah. told me about there's some phenomenon where people are using AI tools to or they're like having AI write really shitty stories about really niche subjects and then adding it to to Audible. And then they use AI uh voice, voice reading. Yeah. Okay. So for what? And then people buy it. You think of like some stupid niche thing, right? Like uh, how to, uh, you know, how to get earwax out without fucking, I don't know, whatever, right? Okay. So they go, they go to chat GPS, say, hey, write me a, you know, 20 page story about uh, getting earwax out. Okay. And then they have an AI narrate it and then they submit it to Audible huh. and people buy it. That's the thing, right? That's what Dan said. Yeah, and then you get a he said, yeah. Actually, he summed it up pretty well. I'm reading what Dan so, said exactly. So, like, that's... Just, I, is that kind of a hustle, though? That's kind of a vibe, isn't it? Like, that's just... That is kind of player status. I mean, if you can do that... Not doing anything illegal. Then, it's a vibe Yeah, right exactly. If there's nothing illegal, and then I don't see a problem with it. I mean, you are... Is I it mean, it's a little dishonest. If, is it correct? Like, with the they don't AI? Care. They don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is a little dishonest because it's like, you're just repackaging crap. Meaningless crap. I guess, it, yeah, it is It is unethical. Because you're, you're selling. I don't know if I'm fully understanding it. So. Well, if somebody's looking for a book. Yeah. And you're selling them this book. But it's really just repackaged AI trash. They're not buying what they think they're buying. It's misleading. But I, I don't know. But yeah, so Dan, when he heard the AI thing, he's like, it's got to be. But I got real interested in this guy, and we started to look into him a little bit. Um, this guy is so fucking crazy, dude. Bro, there's so much money in circulation. My homie's doing, my homie has this business where he like opens a fake a medical office and then pretends that a bunch of old people are come doing Medicare and we mm -hmm. bill the government like millions of dollars, bro. There's so much money out there. That's what I'm grab. thinking. Like if you're talking like that about money, it's like what kind of scam are we talking about? Because it's got to be a scam, whatever Dude, it is. if you're 20 and you don't have a Lambo, you need to try harder. Rats will dance for money if you pay them. <laughs> That's so true, Jordan. Finally, something wise. Yeah, so this guy's name is... uh. Sebastian, I can't watch this clip because it's copyrighted. Loser. <laughs> He's Sebastian. I honestly don't know how to say his last name. Peace and love. Georgiou. Ale from Your... Elgiera. What is it? We we could not find it. I mean, we didn't spend That's too much kinda... time looking, but it. Sebastian Georgiou. He's a 23 year old self proclaimed YouTuber, real estate, five time COVID survivor. My <laughs> man, dude. That's what's up. <laughs> Fucking legend, dude. And most important, uh, he's a nice guy. That's his Twitter bio. You guys have... This is my story. From $1,000 to... Okay, let's find out. I hate... You come across like a nice guy, but you really a piece of shit. I hate this kind of stuff, and I hate 
messages like this and like i mean it's very much like andrew tate it's and then bad. when you get behind the paywall and you see that he's saying that he's not paying taxes and he's scamming his partners out of money and it's like yeah well, of course money is easy for you to make it's if so that's bad. how you're making it's it so bad yeah like six years or something but my name is sebastian georgiou welcome to my video welcome to my channel most of you probably don't know who i am because i intend for this video to go viral and in this video i'm going to tell all of you guys about exactly how i went from a thousand dollars to eight million dollars now keep in mind my parents are from a communist country they're from romania they moved here in 1988 they came with absolutely nothing my dad you know he worked hard when he moved here and he built up some money but he lost everything in 2008 my parents got divorced and my mom was uneducated and did not bro if your dad <laughs> doesn't have a lambo he seriously needs to fucking re-examine his life <laughs> what a fucking Freaking loser dumbass. <laughs> your dad is such an idiot what bro. a deadbeat why don't you get rid of him or like divorce him or whatever you know childs can divorce their parents el dad el dad lad <laughs> speak good english so she worked at wendy's she worked as a maid cleaning people's houses and she received very little income we grew up in detroit with her and my Never three mind, like siblings him. living in a two-bedroom this is boring apartment. let's pull up his tweets i'm the cool dad now <clears throat> Hmm? I wrote down just like a quick breakdown of how he got his money it's just, <coughs> instead of watching. That's, okay, yeah. It's from that video. So let's see. He says okay. he made his money. Um, he worked at fast food. What a legend. He began flipping cars. Oh, yeah. He's a flipper. We love that. He, had he worked nine... at a car wash place, and then that's how he got into cars. He, wa he, was, uh, he had nine cars by the time he was 19. Cool. Uh, Sebastian was in real estate school. He made money by drop shipping. Oh, God. God, mm -hmm. that's the scammiest, dumbest crap. That's how SoFlo makes his money. Mm -hmm. Drop shipping means that you are selling people on Facebook outrageously marked up crap from Alibaba. That's what it means. And I think that's pretty common for like uh, these Sigma bros to, to try to do that. But it's crazy. People make so, SoFlo makes so much fucking money mm -hmm. doing that shit. Definition of dropshipping, oh, kind of just what I said. Sebastian started a YouTube channel so he could uh, scam a bunch of suckers into paying him. Uh, he started selling an online course that gives in-depth tutorial. Yeah, okay, who cares? What did I miss? Started a Google ad company called Digital Wealth MD, which he claims is a seven-figure company. Okay, who cares? Then he got into crypto, of course. So here, let's just get to his tweets. Men want one thing. Large mountain-style home in Forest by Lake. Hey, hey. Pleasant wife with no attitude. Dab me up, girl. <laughs> pleasant wife with no attitude, pleasant Jack. Pleasant wife. I'm so pleasant. Pleasant? First of all, pleasant is like... Such a fucking slimy fucking word in this context. Yeah. Never talk about my wife in this context. <laughs> you better stay pleasant with me. Three to five children. Why is he saying one thing and then listing four things? Am I missing something? You're not. And actually, you <laughs> totally dunked on this it's funny. idiot. I, I keep reading it and I'm like, what? Men want one thing. Uh, here's four <laughs> things. <laughs> That is so funny. <laughs> you stupid idiot. Moron. <laughs> and a dynamic gym inside an RV garage. So disgusting. Okay, bro. Uh, porn is ruining young men. You know what? Like, in a sense, I agree that porn is... Cor cor some porn, a lot of mainstream porn is very corrosive. But I get the feeling that's not what he means. I think he's just, like, anti-masturbation. Why is this... Point like so popular nowadays. Like, it's where, where Tate, is it coming Aiden from? Ross, they think that. Is there any evidence of like bad no, effects of porn? Oh well, well like, I've been waiting to look porn. I've been yeah, but other than hearing like about it from some so weirdo I, like Andrew Tate, consumption of porn is is fine. I mean, the, my, the problem with porn, in my opinion, is that kids start are consuming it way too fucking young, and it it's gonna mess with your mind in terms of like the expectations of what a sexual encounter is like, what you're mm -hmm. supposed to do for the other person, and this idea of sex is is just gets super warped and fucked up. Also, I think kids just, it makes kids like aware of super crazy sexual shit way too young. So in that sense, I think it's dangerous, but you know, there's a lot of like, I feel really 
good, healthy porn that's like wholesome and nice and mm -hmm. wholesome in the sense that like it doesn't have like, um, you know, a dude choking at her out and fucking ten cocks coming on her. I mean, that, that, that gentleman's porn. That's fine. That's fine. You know, Quoting if, milk if that's what porn. you're into. But there's porn out there that won't make you nauseous. I'm just a little porn. suspicious because I'm only hearing about this point from like suspicious people like Andrew Tate or Yeah, so their theory the men they're, they're revert we talked about this yesterday on leftovers. Their theory, they're returning to like tradition in the sense right. like like a really like fucking a, a crazy pleasant sense. wife. Yeah, like a hundred years ago where it was like a sin to masturbate. And they think that masturbation is like uh, a sign of weakness that you're supposed to like hold it in or something. And, um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the Bible, oh, so he's, he's religious. The Bible is filled with so much wisdom and knowledge, it's amazing. Every man should read the text, especially Proverbs. Just had an interview with, uh, Prager U. <laughs> I explain why feminists are wrong. <laughs> Where I fall politically. Let me guess. Oh my god. And the corruption and the corruption of the world. <sighs> Why bro, what are you doing? He What's mean, your argument? he's young, right? Like this I mean, I'm sure how many years before he goes into rehab? Is it like two? Is it three? <laughs> I don't know. He's twenty three. So probably another two years he'll be in rehab. He's going to lose a lot of money in crypto for sure. That's going if he hasn't already. <laughs> Homeschool children. Oh, there's more. This. Symbol status, status symbol set. fuck me! Status symbols for men. Fit body. That one's interesting to me. I never thought as fit, fit body as a status symbol. Yes. But I guess it is. It means you have enough time and money to mm. dedicate mm. to exercising? I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Status symbol. Have money? Okay. <laughs> Yes, that's yes, yes. literally that's very literal status oh. symbol <laughs> happy marriage homeschooled children that you lost me on bro that is not a flex <laughs> that means you're part of a really <laughs> fucked up dysfunctional family probably <laughs> kids you the stuff they teach you in public school is gonna drive you crazy here's what really happened yeah here's what really happened during the civil war When I One think of the homeschool now, I think of like anti vax parents. That's it. That's yeah. that's like 90% of what that means. One of the biggest problems we are facing <sighs> is the generational decline in testosterone in men. Men are weaker than ever before. They also have like some weird pseudoscience about I semen can. retention. They think that <sighs> keeping yeah. the semen in increases their testosterone and stuff, but the, obviously, there's literally zero. Zero evidence to back anything like People that. Like up. Yeah, I found something that says there can they quote studies that indicate ejaculation leads to decreased testosterone and vitamin levels, but there's no science. There's well, semen is like just like a tiny bit of protein and water and shit. Like it's, it's not kind of there's milk. no essential vitamins that are being taken. Trust me, if if you lost essential vitamins from uh, masturbating, I thought it's scurvy like fucking 15 years ago. Yeah, pretty quiet room. Okay, uh, just crowd. I, I, I can't. I Every cannot time's... with this man. I thought so, that was pretty funny. I'm just. I didn't even hear your jock, joke. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. I was doing research. I said, I'm... if you lost essential vitamins from jerking off, I'd have died of scurvy 15 oh. years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> they love me. They really love me. It is interesting. They like. Before my first boxing match, not just my coach, but all the coaches said, like, no sex for two weeks. Yeah. Well, so, okay, that, that I think is interesting for boxers it? because yeah. it gets you, you know, listen, psychologically, it can affect you not jerking off. It makes you yeah. aggressive. It, it doesn't give you attention release. Mm. But I, so that, that there's, there could be something to it. Mm. But in terms of it affecting your testosterone, there's no, I don't see any way that's possible. Mike Tyson famously, I remember, he would say he wouldn't have sex for like a few weeks before a fight. Yeah. Just George, to get all crazy. George Costanza, um, he didn't have sex for uh, a long while and he became a genius. You know? Explain right. that. I know. Right. Great episode. <laughs> this guy's a loser. Yeah, That's all sucks. I gotta say.
cringe. Um, if he's that rich, why is he hustling so hard? You that's know what, what I mean? all these guys do. It's like you, you can only fool like fifteen-year-olds, probably. I don't know. I feel bad for those kids. I think what is he anyone with a little bit of life oh. experience and a brain will not fall for any of this crap. But you know, this he actually responded to this clip of his going viral. He says, "Yes, it was intended. I was being a little sarcastic." Okay, dork. Please stand by your words. Bro, if you don't have a Lambo by the time you're 20, you should literally just fucking kill yourself. Nobody's gonna wanna fuck you, dude. Men literally want one thing. A nice house, live by a lake, a nice family, a pleasant wife, a fat bank account, a cool road to live on, a nice job. When men just want one thing. <sighs> Tough crowd in here today. It's crickets. I don't like this topics, and it sucks the Yikes. life out of me. I feel like Jimmy Lee up here. It, it, so it's not you. <laughs> it's what this guy is doing to me. Every time I see his tweets. So, yes. He says, I was being a little sarcastic, but my intention was to go viral. Oh, I'm just, I'm it. sad that this is like a popular thing that's happening with men. It is, and man. I'm just really sad. It is. What it the is fuck is a pleasant wife? You that know? like grew up with all this, like watching these guys and like Aiden Ross, like they love Aiden Ross and it's like, they're, they're lost. Like my cousin, every time he messages me, he's like, hey, I got this new scam I'm going to do. It's like, bro, just go the fuck to oh, school yeah. or figure out something else if you don't want to do school. That's hustle culture. Yeah. That's what this guy's like. He's like, yo, yeah. you're not a millionaire by the time you're 20. You are not scamming people hard enough. Yeah, yep. exactly. It's sad. Really, really sad. It, and in a sense, SoFlo Antonio was the first Sigma. And for women, it's really sad. Yeah. I don't even want to see this shit, you know? Although for, for the men out there who are loved by their parents and well-adjusted... It's also not good. You're going to have, you know, you'll, you'll be like the, you know, the one-eyed man when everyone's blind sort of analogy. So that's cool. <laughs> Does that make sense? I I guess, yeah, yeah, I guess like the standard. Yeah, is he's so low. He, the standard is low. You're so gonna be the low. ultimate gentleman, like <laughs> not in a school shooty way, but like in a. Rod, uh, Elliot Rodriguez, he was the yeah, never mind. <laughs> so he says results from going mainstream, dude. Everyone's clowning on you. Stop. You're not mainstream. Forty to fifty k a free press. What? It, okay. That's like um. That's like Harvey Weinstein being like, yo, dude, the amount of free press I've been getting is got crazy. Billions, <laughs> billions worth of free dude, press. Dude, crazy. <laughs> Biggest TV channels and RO want to interview? Business up Romania. six to seven percent. Well, well, I guess six to seven times one is what? Six to <laughs> seven. So I guess it's easy to multiply that. Let me crunch numbers. Six. Six times one, add the one, and two, three, add the number three. Six. Six. Uh, Theodore's learning arithmetic, so he, kind of yeah. like, he gets in the lab. Uh -huh. With like three plus three, he goes, I go three plus three. And then he has to count each finger. Uh -huh. And then he goes, he goes, Dad, what's two plus two? And I go, what? And he goes, four. And then when he tries one, he doesn't know, like three plus five, he'll be like, he goes five, <laughs> six. <laughs> so funny. He loves it. Pretty slick little dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's sharp. Most new followers are girls that want a piece. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, I'm not single. Podcast requests from big people. Bro, you talk like. <sighs> this guy. It, <sighs> actually, I. You know what? I would like to talk to him on the podcast. I would love to talk to him. It's I'll working. be one of those big people. There you go. All right. I'm as big as it gets. Number one in the world. That's right. Reach out to Sebastian Google Gurgur. Gurgur. I do think goon. that, you know, like Tate really set this new yeah. like, uh, template of just being like audacious and then getting reactions. Yeah. And now people are trying to emulate that. I don't know. I feel like he's it's giving himself Tate. a little too much credit where he's like, I meant to go viral by saying this insanely stupid thing. Yeah. No, in this situation, I think he definitely just fucked up. He definitely believes it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some, hey, reach out to him, though. That'd be a great call-in. Okay. You got it. 
Sebastian. Talk to me, baby. Maybe I can turn him. I can change him. You. If I can change him, I can get to Aiden. I'm gonna turn this guy into a socialist. I'm sure of it. <laughs> These glasses have changed my life. Um. Uh, so whatever. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pleasant wife, bro. Yeah. Dude, you. What do you even know about life? You're like 22. This guy I, better not walk up to me. <laughs> You've got to find out an unpleasant I'm gonna, wife. I'm gonna show him how pleasant <laughs> of a wife I am. They better fear you. <laughs> you know what would really complete me as a human being? A subservient, pleasant wife with no attitude. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I need to complete me as a person. My dream partner is someone who is quiet and doesn't question me and challenges me in no way. She makes coffee the way I like it. She makes me a smoothie in the morning. She's more a servant, really, than a... <laughs> when I really want to be with a partner, I hang out with the dudes. They, Fuck you! They complete me. But a wife is meant to be pleasant. With no attitude. And she has sex when I say it, goddammit. I smoke marijuana <laughs> so I don't beat my wife and children. We're like two perfect <laughs> jigsaws that... That uh, puzzle pieces that fit together. <laughs> Me, the wealthy alpha genius, and her, the subservient, stupid little servant. I got a smoke and a hot wife. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's a perfect union. Please, and don't leave the house when I'm not with you. That's just inappropriate. My wife went out for pizza without me. That would be grounds for divorce. <laughs> <laughs> this is his wife trying to get away. <laughs> this is his wife crashing the car in a double suicide. <laughs> Who's pleasant now? <laughs> Who's pleasant now? <clears throat> I'm sorry. Who's pleasant now? Sebastian. <laughs> I'm gonna drive off this fucking cliff. <laughs> oh yes. Dude. Are you crazy? Hey, Leno, he's mind? becoming like a, a modern day evil Knievel. Just never completes <laughs> the tricks. Dude, he's gonna die from this shit. <laughs> yeah, so there it is. A shout out to Sebastian who's out there. He look he's got he's so so flow. There's so much so flow about him. For sure. Bro, if you're not ripping off people's content and monetizing on Facebook, what are you even doing? <laughs> I've made ten million dollars stealing content from small creators and uploading it to Facebook. You're just not trying hard enough. Different perspectives. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I literally buy toothbrushes on Alibaba for ten cents and resell to to soccer moms for fifteen dollars on Facebook. They have arsenic in it. It doesn't matter. They literally made with asbestos and cyanide. <laughs> it literally doesn't matter, bro. That's why they're so cheap. You're not trying hard enough. Bro, I get aloe vera from China <laughs> for five cents a bottle. I don't know what's in it, but they, these women love it. It's filled with like formaldehyde, dude. It's crazy. I knew somebody in Atlanta that that was how they paid their rent, um, and they would buy like rocks off of Alibaba <coughs> for like ten cents, and then resell them as healing rocks. For <laughs> That's fucking media. yeah, awesome. God. I don't know if they worked or if they were healing or whatever, but he definitely got a nice profit. <laughs> Dude, that's so awesome. Yeah, legitimately, I mean, you kind of have to be a psycho to do that because you're ripping people off, but... Yeah. Dude, I got hair dye from China for like 10 cents a bottle and I sell it on Facebook. It's literally permanent dye, dude. I don't know how it works, <laughs> but they can never get it out. It's crazy. It's literally just ground up asphalt, dude. Just rocks come out of it. It's all crazy. Dude. I fucking sell wigs. I get them for <laughs> five cents, bro. It's I we I harvest the in China they harvest the hair from cadavers. They get it off dead bodies, bro. It's crazy. And dog dead dogs. It's not even human hair. 
I upmarket like crazy. It's like a thousand dollars. I think it's premium. It's just dead hair, bro. Stores do that every day, yeah, but like, it's not the same as some dude buying, like. Isn't Teddy Fresh made in Asian countries? Yeah, I'm not talking. We don't buy our clothes on Alibaba for five cents. We manufacture it. What's the big announcement? We don't drop ship Teddy Fresh. Wait, what is this from iDubs? Oh, just a side note, but like, I don't know if you've seen iDubs like messaging Gary Vee or trying to get his attention for like the past six months, telling him to box. It's the funniest shit to me. Like everything, everything Gary Vee is trying to promote, I see iDubs in the DMs. Different perspectives. <laughs> well, Gary Vee's a coward. He just wants to make out with his dad. Now, <laughs> put that phone down. <laughs> Dude, that video should end anybody's confidence in him. Everybody look at your phone right now. <laughs> Different perspectives. Different perspectives. <laughs> so deep. Yeah, what's the announcement? So, okay, everybody's waited patiently for the announcement. I am proud to announce, guys, that I am starting a new business importing. This is really crazy. You guys aren't going to believe it. We have cotton balls that we buy for half a cent. Spun from asbestos, harvested from old Chinese buildings and repurposed. And you can buy them now on our Facebook sh uh, shop for only 10 bucks. And don't worry guys, the asbestos has been pre-wet, so the chance of it going airborne is pretty low. Don't get it wet. Don't get it wet. But th these cotton balls, you know, <clears throat> If you're pregnant, I wouldn't recommend using them. Or say if you have small kids, don't you keep them around the cotton balls. But they are a very good price, ten dollars. And I'll tell you what. I've been using my cotton ball asbestos cotton ball for about a year now. I have developed a slight cough and some chest pain, but it's it's you can live with it. I know someone that sells healing rocks if you want to heal that. Uh, yeah. Get, hook me up. I'm healing rocks. People are asking for the link. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs>